Bridge Extreme Festival and my special guest tonight is Pleasure Craft. Welcome Pleasure Craft. Is it your first time in Italy? Uh, it's my second time playing in Italy really? actually, yes. The first time was in Milano. And did you enjoy the time? Loved it, yeah. Do you love Italy? Of course, what's not to love? Oh, perfect. Well, I want to start your interview, but before, I want to say that how much I love your website, especially biography page, because you explain yourself using 5W question, when, which, why is pleasure craft. So, my first question is, from which country do you come from? Well, I'm from Washington, D.C., in America, obviously. And I'm um, Kale, who uh, is my partner in Pleasurecraft, is from Stockholm, Sweden. Well, I want to talk about your production, especially Tarantula. How much, did, how did you realize this song, this best song of the year on Beatport? Yeah, um, the main hook in that song kind of just came together and then the rest of it kind of building around the hook. So it probably took around two weeks and um, we kind of felt like People are either going to love this track or hate this track, but we never ever expected that it would ever yes. become as big as it did and we were as surprised as Best anyone else. Best track of the year, you. really. Satis you satisfaction. Grazie mille. <laughs> <laughs> well now, I want to see you, I know that you guys, uh, you print in several selected labels, but what about your one, Craftec? How do you choose the artist to work with? Um, in the last couple years we've been really lucky based on uh, the, own, the success of our own productions to kind of make friends with some producers that we really admired and liked a lot. And um, we just built friendships through that and um, kind of like a small family and, and we asked them if they would be kind enough to work with us on our own label to kind of grow something that's our own thing as opposed to doing tracks for other people's stuff. And we've been fortunate enough, and we have like a lot of great artists coming up, like Format B, Green Velvet, Stacy Pullen, Pirupa, um, Oliver Dollar. So all these guys are kind of have stuff coming out on Crowd Tech, and we're really super excited for it. Well, I want to talk about your recent success about remix for Lil Wayne. So, do you think in the future to move on hip hop, pop music production? Um, we really love a lot of that stuff. Um, some of our favorite producers are hip-hop producers and even some pop producers as well. Um, but it's just something that kind of influences us in an indirect way, or maybe a direct way. But I don't know that right now we're really looking um, to move into pop and hip-hop production. We're definitely, we're working on our first album right now. And it's definitely going to be very different. It's not going to be any club music. It's not going to be Tech House at all. When do we release a new album? Hopefully summer, fall 2014. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very different, but I don't know that it, you would call it pop. Um, but yeah, we just want to try different things and keep growing and, you know, as an artist you kind of don't want to repeat yourself, you kind of want to push the envelope. And um, we just love the fact that we can make deep house, tech house, techno. And they all, you know, do really well and we get all new fans from these different genres and they're all saying, oh, we love this, we love, and they're all very different yeah. tracks from each other and we love that, so, yeah. Okay, so are you ready for tonight for Bridge Extreme Festival? Absolutely, I was born ready? ready. So, thank you so much for my invitation for this interview. So, guys, this is Pleasure Craft, this is F, and this is Miss Matilda Block Channel. Thank you so much and hi to all the fans of Miss Matilda. Oh, thank you.